Shut up and sit down. On the last video, I started talking about what in the world happened. Um, basically, weekend after weekend, there was something going on, and after a while, I just kind of neglected my hair, which is not anything new for me, but it was getting to the point where this dandruff was going crazy, so I was like, all right, this ain't gonna work. So what I ended up doing, and I'm still kind of on the fence about it, because it's either take the twists or braids out, whatever style I have in currently, and wash it in my leg. I usually do two, sometimes I do four, depends, but typically two. I wash it, puff at a time, blah, 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 whatever. This time I decided to leave the twist in and wash it while it's in the twist. And I will say, pros, cons, let's get into it a little bit, right? So as I'm going through the pros, cons, I'm gonna be taking these apart because I actually do need to like redo them a little ready now and I know they miss it. So I'm using just some cast oil. Since I'm putting this on lengths of my hair, I don't mind it. I usually do it for a little bit of shine. It smells kind of nice, so it's cool. But as I'm as I'm talking, I will be undoing these. I don't know if I have that much to talk about, but we'll see. So, uh, pro, I will say, typically when I'm doing my um, washing my hair, that is, oh boy, washing my hair, that is, um, it's typically a lot harder to get, or at least in my head hard to get like places in my scalp, right? And while they're in the twist at least, like it's pretty um, like open to do what it do. Um, it's very accessible because it's already in these like sub compartmented um, twisting areas that I could just jump right into, right? And so that was a lot easier when I'm doing it because then if I, if it's not in the twist, I have to do like section by section and it kind of is annoying and in my head I'm like, I feel like I'm missing a part, but when it's doing this, I can just have it all out. And, like I'm good to go. So in terms of like actually washing it in my head, I think it's a lot easier. Um, and when my hair is actually out, like I don't, I think you guys, you guys have definitely seen my hair out. It's just thick. And it get off my way and be on my neck and whatnot. I'd be like, oh me man. You see right now, since it's dry, it's not like on my scalp or anything. It's not a big deal. But when it's wet, ugh, ugh. man, I don't be wanting to do all that. You feel me? So putting the twist makes it a lot easier. And that goes to uh, pro number two. When I am like actually have it out and doing my thing, it's not at, or at least it doesn't feel as heavy, right? Like instead of having like all of my hair out and it's like, oh, hey y'all, what's up? It's kind of like, it's a little bit lighter. I mean, it's just seemingly because it's in like these like little dookie braids or whatever, or twists in this case. So it's like in my head, it's a lot lighter in this sense. Um, and then if I'm like moving to one side or another, it's a lot easier versus like the whole fro out. It's like, I gotta, <sighs> let me watch this up. <sighs> let me do this. And it's just, it's like a dang exercise for real. Like, I don't know, it's, it's gonna come to lot. Now, my other, this con's gonna sound like it contradicts the beginning one when I said that it like gives more access to my scalp. The only thing I was really concerned about or one of the main issues I, this my head thing is that because they're like in these like individual twists, right? Like you can see that like this is its own section. So if I want to get in it, like I can. Well, it's not as accessible as it would be if it were all out, right? Like if I want to pull all this out now and I want to go, okay, I can. Whereas if I do this on this side now, it's like a, I'm just gonna get more of the scalp areas that were already exposed. So in my head, I was like, am I really cleaning like I should? And then what if within the twist, like if. For example, if I take this one out, I take this one out. You'll see, like now, this is two different sections. Like, what if I miss something in between? Like, it's really easy for something to get caught in here if I didn't wash well enough. And so, I was a little concerned on that, but it looks like, at least for the most part, as I'm taking, no, it's not good. Oh well, it's there. Um, see, like, it kind of looks like, like yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think you guys can really see it. Um, but at least from this angle, it kind of looks like there was some that still kind of got stuck. It could just be product that got locked in, which which means like I'm about to wash anyway, so it's not a big deal. But at least for like I, the main reason for my wash was to get my scalp. And for the main most part, it seems like it looks decent. Um, but now like the lengths of my hair are a little like not too hot, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, another kind. Now the other thing would be if you're planning to like twist or braid out for the following day, which I rarely do, um, like very rarely. I usually put them in and leave them there exactly that for at least a week because I'm lazy. But if you're doing it for like the next day thing and you're like, oh, well, let me 
wash it out or let me leave it in or whatever like myself um, obviously if you wash it out you're washing out all the product and if you're putting the leave-in in well you ain't leaving it in so it really depends on what your goal is and what you're looking for because generally speaking like now I'm not saying my hair is dry it's definitely not dry um, especially with the oil I just put on but I would say it's because I wash all the product out now it's not as uh, Shiny or vibrant or moisturized. That's probably the more appropriate word. And I was a little not going to a little second on one day. Give it a second. It's always that one hair that be making life hard. But like I was saying, um, like while the hair is out, like of course it's not bad. Like because it was twisted up, my hair has already taken on the shape that in my head it would have already taken, right? But it's not as you can actually you can see that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I didn't get all the product out. Now I got this like little ugly little whatchama jig. So in all, probably not something you want to do. Now granted, I could fix this real quick, right? I'll do it right now, actually. Cause this is a little wider, you know what I'm saying? Man, man, man. You could easily like take care of that. Oh look, it disappeared. Yeah, cause it's just a little product. It's not nothing OD, but I wouldn't like go days of, oh my gosh, you see that? You can see that gray hair, can't you? Oh my gosh, Lord help me. Um, but then me putting water on it's gonna start springing back. To its original shape so is it worth it and all i'm gonna say no but it was a lot easier to wash so i'm thinking i might try to do the next time i um, go in and i don't end up releasing my hair before i uh, wear it out meaning that i wear it for the full two weeks and at the end i'm like okay it's time for me to rewash it I'll wash it in the twist take them out maybe like wear it out around the house for a day let it breathe and then i'll uh re-wet it and twist it up again uh just to make it easier and see how that goes. But right now it's kind of looking a little crazy. You guys can see I'm trying to uh, twist the ends purposely so that way my twist actually look like decent or whatever. But it's looking kind of crazy. So let me put on a sec. All right. So you guys can kind of see now. Like the main goal, remember the reason why I washed it while it was in the twist is that I could access my scalp a little better. And the whole point, and you can kind of see it, like it looks, granted the audience even before, I don't know if I can like fully see it, but like my scalp looks pretty dang good. It's fantastic. This was just all one wash. Um, granted, I got to stick with it because obviously it'll come back to what it was. But like I showed you before, there were some parts where you could see the products that were still locked in from when the twists were together. So you have to address that. But the power of having a style that has already stretched your hair a little bit, you can do what you want. So I don't know if you got, I don't know. I don't know if I have a video of my hair like in natural state, but now if I wanted to like pull it back, um, it's easy to do that. And if there was like some product that was still on top that I was like, ooh, can't show that. And also, y'all remember I'm still doing no, no shade remember, so this is why my side look crazy. Don't be playing me. Um, but if I want to pull it back, do that real quick. That's not, and if I wanted to do my little like braid to the head a little bit, it's already in this stretch state and I've detangled beforehand, so it wouldn't be hard to break this down and going back, you know what I'm saying? So it's a good starter point if you wanted to set it up for something else uh, for the coming up week or next day or day or two. Cause like I said, it's still moisturized. Um, you ju I just washed it out two days ago. So it's still pretty good. Um, but you know, I wouldn't say do it normally. If you can go like do it and you have like two more days before you gotta wash again, cool, go with it. Otherwise, really not the move. Cause like I said, that product being there and then you gotta re-wet it. It's gonna mess up because then you got like stretch curls at the bottom and you got tight mess. If you lose your hair like me, you got a tight mess at the front. And granted, what I just changed, you can't really see that much. I kind of like held it in place. It was like, you're not gonna dry like that. I'm sorry. But, you know, yeah. I'm done talking. You guys have seen the final product now. Hopefully, um, I showed it well. I'm hoping I'm getting decent angles too. I don't know. But thanks for checking out the video. Um, hope it gave you some insight. And we'll dig more into some more investigations next time with the twists and everything. But see you guys in the next video. Thanks for checking it out. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you liked it. And we will see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Shut up and sit down. Sorry. In credits, y'all. Hold on. These, these, these twists. Wait. Like, and y'all see this guy look at the oh. That from like a cheat code, or was that one of my best twists I've ever in my life? What the hell's going on, cuz?
What's happening?